Welcome back to Muffin Man Hosting, everyone. And today we're going to be working on an e-commerce website. So e-commerce website, it could be a page for your local coffee shop. It could be a store that you're putting together that's online, whatever you want it to be. We're gonna show you how to do it with Muffin Man Hosting. Um, so as you can see, this is my mock web page that I put together. Um, there's This is a little uh, home page, and you can see the a, br a brief overview of the products that we offer. Um, if you come into the shop here, you can see all of the products with more details. You can click on them. There's a little summary right here. Um, you can see add to cart, buy a cart, however many quantity you want. And then you can actually use this. This is a fully functional website. So I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. To start off with our website, we're going to go to muffinmanhosting.com. And we're going to click start now. Um, here, it'll ask you to sign in with Google or Gmail. Um, so I'm going to sign in real quick with my account. And then once I do that, it, you will have to verify that you're a student and then accept the uh, terms and privacy policy. Um, once you do that, you'll be able to buy hosting. Um, you can purchase just like the student plan, um, just like uh, with a domain and uh, another option. You can see all those options here. Um, and then, so going back, once you've uh, purchased hosting, you'll see this card where it'll say uh, muffin plan and domain, and then it'll say not in use. So you're gonna come here and click on this. Um, once you get to this page, you're gonna come here and then uh, you're gonna create your cPanel account, which is going to be what you're gonna use to edit, modify, whatever you need to do with your website. So I'm going to type e-commerce2 and then claim my free domain. This is gonna check if the domain is available and then it will uh, claim it for you. And then that'll be what you this process takes like 30 seconds, so be patient. Um, after that, it'll give you your account credentials. These account credentials are super important, so make sure you write them down somewhere that you're not gonna forget them. You can change these later, but for now, I'm just gonna use the default ones. Um, so I'm gonna go to the manager console, and then I'm gonna click um, log into cPanel. Once I do that, I'm gonna log in with the account credentials it gave me. And we're in. So at this point, we want to use a WordPress toolkit. So we're gonna go to WordPress toolkit and then install WordPress. So the installation process of WordPress does take a little bit of time, but just be patient with it, let it install, let it do its thing, go get a cup of coffee or something. Uh, but for now, we're gonna uh, type, you can ignore most of the things on this page, but you do want to change your website title. So I'm gonna change it to Muffin Man Store and then I'm gonna click install. So now it's gonna install, and then I'll come back when it's done. So after WordPress is done installing, we're gonna go here and click login. Um, this is gonna log us into our WordPress admin console, and this is gonna be where you're gonna edit your uh, website. So first off, we're gonna change the theme of the website. So we're gonna come here and click add new theme. I'm going for like a cafe restaurant theme, so I'm gonna click type cafe. So this restaurant and cafe theme is the one that I like. So I'm going to click install. I'm going to install this onto our website and make all of the pages look the exact same or like have the same kind of theme going. Um, after we install it, we're going to want to come into plugins here and then click add new plugin. Here, we're going to install something called Surecart. Um, this will make it so easy for us to do the e-commerce side of things. Like, It'll do all of the product placement and it'll take care of the payments. All of this can be done through Surecart. So you can see here, um, I'm gonna click install now. This install is gonna take a little bit. So again, be patient. I think I know I've said that a lot, but a lot of this stuff is just waiting for it to install and then being able to put it to use. So after Surecart is installed, we're gonna wanna activate it. So we're gonna go to the plugins and then activate Surecart. Um, and then it's gonna pop open this like little tab on the sidebar. So I'm gonna click it and then it's gonna go through our setup process. I'm gonna click create new store. And then if you have a brand color, you should put that in here. I'm just gonna use the Muffin Man hosting brand color, that. And then I'm gonna click continue. Um, it, it'll ask what kind of stuff that you want. I'm just gonna say organic food because that's the closest to a restaurant slash cafe. Um, this, it'll, it, you could just use the default, which is gonna be your uh, WordPress account and then it's gonna set up your store. So then you can click view my store and it will take you to your store. So this is just the preliminary website that it's gonna be. We're gonna modify this, make this look nicer. 
Okay, so after you've activated Surecart, you can you can see the dashboard like this. And if you want to change any products, add products, all that, you're going to go to the products tab. And this is where you're going to see everything that's on your store. Um, from here, you can edit each individual item. Um, you can add images from either URLs or from your personal computer. Um, you can change the price that you want to have. If you want to have multiple options where you have like different sizes or different prices or like different... Um, uh, subscription options you can change that in the pricing area um, you can change the description you can change what you want the URL slug to be um, one important thing though if you do want a like an isolated page for each product you do have to come up here and click published so this what this does is when you're when a user clicks on the product it'll take them to a separate page that shows them that where it'll give them the option to either like buy or they can like just add to cart um, this comes in handy where so it's not just like a one dimensional website. So that's pretty much it. This is going to wrap up the video on how to make an e commerce website. So if you want more information on Surecart and how to use their uh, payment options, go check their channel out. Um, they have a bunch of videos on how to do that. But thank you for using Muffin Man Hosting, and see you guys next time.